Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to learn how to multiply integers. Very easy stuff. So by now you should already know how to add and subtract integers. Today we are going to multiply integers. Okay, so here we go. So let's uh, let's uh, listen to a little story here. Let's say there are these three guys right here and that maybe this guy right here, he owed, right? He owed $8. This guy owed $8 too. And this last guy also owed $8. So my question to you is how much money do they all owe in total? Well, a lot of you guys will say, oh, negative eight plus negative eight plus negative eight. That's going to be negative 24. So if you were to write this as a multiplication problem, you could have written three because there's three people times negative eight, which is going to give you negative 24. You see uh, this right here, this is a positive number, right? And we multiplied it by a negative number, giving us a negative value right here. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the rules for multiplying integers. Here's the first rule. A positive times a positive, uh, duh, that's just going to give you a positive number. Kind of like 2 times 6, that's going to be positive 12, right? Or 3 times 4, that's going to give you positive 12 also. If you have a positive times a negative, what do you think that's going to be? Yeah, that's going to be a negative, just like what I did right here. See, positive times negative gives you a negative. However, if you have a negative times a negative, that's going to give you a positive. So these are the three rules that you need to remember when multiplying for integers. Okay, so let's take a look at number one. 8 times negative 7, well, 8 times 7 is 56. But then remember, this is positive times negative, so this is negative 56. Easy. Take a look at number two. This is negative 3 times negative 4. Oh, well, that's going to be positive 12 because a negative times a negative gives you positive. A negative times a negative gives you positive. Over here, you have negative 9 times 5, which is going to be negative 45 because that's negative times positive. That's a negative answer. What about number four? Okay, so this is a little bit weird. You see this is an exponent right here. This is negative three to the second power. This two is going to duplicate everything inside the parentheses. So if I were to expand it out, that's me saying negative three times negative three. So negative times negative, that gives you positive. So that's positive nine. Okay, for number five, you guys are probably like, wait a minute, isn't this kind of like the same problem? No, no, no. You see this two only duplicates this three right here. There are no parentheses this time. So what you're gonna do is three times three, right? Three times three, because a two duplicates a three, and then you put a little negative sign right outside. So three times three is nine, and then with a negative sign, that's negative nine. That's your answer. Let's take a look at number six. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna have three integers now and we're gonna multiply them all together. Let's do the first part first. So you have five times negative two, that's gonna give you negative 10. And then multiply that by negative three, negative times negative, that gives you positive 30. That's my answer. And final one, let's take a look at number seven. Okay, so when I have this two right here, remember it only duplicates the three, there's no parentheses. So this is actually three times three and then you stick a little negative sign right there and then we're gonna multiply by five. 3 times 3 is 9 with a negative, that's negative 9. And negative 9 times 5, negative times positive, that's going to give you negative 45. Easy stuff. Okay, so to wrap things up, here we go. Whenever you have a positive times a positive, duh, that gives you a positive. Positive times a negative, that gives you a negative, just like this story right here. Positive times negative gives you a negative right there. And then lastly, a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. See you guys in the next video.